Hey Cancers, Goddess Puff, and this is your next 48 hours for March 10th to the 11th of 2022. Let's get started with an oracle card message for Cancer. Next 48 hours for my Cancers. March 10th to the 11th of 2022 for Cancer. Last shuffle, March 10th to the 11th of 2022 for Cancer. Frog, creativity, I almost said fog. So it could be foggy where you are, it could be rainy, or you're going to a foggy, rainy type of place, but we have frog and creativity. We have rat adaptability. Yeah, I, I feel like you're in a moist environment. I don't know if you're in a, a log cabin or it's raining or in the woods. I'm, I'm seeing like wet wood. Otter, dexterity. I'm seeing raindrops dripping off of that. And Raven, overall energy determination. Anyway, y'all just saw my little bit of OCD <laughs> trying to correct that card. But um, yeah, I feel like you're adapting to like a wet environment. It's wet, it's trees or a wood log cabin or something like that of course that's not going to be for everyone you could be painting this with creativity and adaptability i just feel like and then dexterity you're in a totally new environment that you're not used to but you're becoming very adaptable and flexible very easily i'm feeling like a, a major transformation into either also i'm feeling like you're going to Three different environments all in like a short amount of time. One's in the woods, one's in a cramped space, one's outdoors, one's like in the trees. Like you're going on some type of like in multiple different places in a short amount of time. So you're having to adapt. So you could be traveling. Yeah, with Raven Determination, you're you're determined to like flow through either all of these situations. So be like water because it takes any form. It's formless. Or drink a lot of water. Yes, drink a lot of water. I feel like that'll help you. Because when I when I read dexterity, I saw somebody like cracking their knuckles. Like, so, and whenever I read dexterity, I feel like there's someone who's very flexible. I don't know why I get like someone cracking their joints or knuckles when I read that. But that's what I saw. So just drink a lot of water, especially if you're going on a plane or a train or any type of travel to multiple different places or you're going through multiple different types of environments, drink water. All right, so let's get into the tarot for cancer. So I'm, I'm definitely getting travel for you. So let me write that down now. I don't know if you're cracking your bones right now <laughs> watching this or you're cracking your hands. I'm, I'm literally seeing someone do some type of yoga. Mm -hmm. You may crack your knees or hands. All right. Next 48 hours for Cancer. March 10th to the 11th of 2022 for Cancer. Last shuffle, March 10th to the 11th of 2022 for Cancer. We have the moon card, Pisces. Yeah, I feel like for some of you are surprised, you don't know. You could be traveling at night, but you're not aware of all the places you're gonna have to stop through. Cause I feel like you don't expect all these changes in your environment. It's like you, you take a detour. You, like you know that you're about to travel, but you didn't know that you would have to stop at all these different places. All these different, like three different climates. One of them's hot and foggy and rainy. Another one's cold and wet. Another one's like in the wilderness. It's kind of mossy or muddy. And the other one's like the altitude is high up. You have the page of pentacles. Some of you definitely go outside in the morning and do some type of yoga, which is nice. Y'all live in some good type of life. I'll just feel you out in nature. Or you're going on a trip to do so. I'm just getting a very naturey environment for you, Cancer. This is nice. Two of Cups. Yeah, you're having fun. You're enjoying this. Also, you could um, be traveling with someone new or traveling to meet someone new. I feel like it could be an Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or it could be a Pisces. But I feel like it's a mystery to this person. So you're not 
some of you are planning to go out there and actually meet this person or you'll meet this person while you are traveling. But I feel like for a lot of you, you're planning to go see this person and you two are going to click instantly. Yeah, the higher font, Taurus. So it's going to, your relationship's going to take off really fast. Overall energy is the Eight of Swords. Yeah, you're nervous about this. So that's what this is. You're traveling a long distance to meet someone new. I mean, you you know this person, of course, but you've never met them in person or you haven't seen them in a long time since you were younger. But your connection is going to take off very fast. It goes from the Page of Pentacles to the Hierophant and right between that is the Two of Swords. So it's like a mystery. You're not expecting this to take off the way it is, but you're really anxious and really nervous about it because I feel like you have to travel a long ways. I also feel like you may be experiencing all these different climates with this person. So this may be your first time traveling with them. I I usually would not advise like, you know, sometimes a lot of times in relationships go this quickly or take off this fast. And um, it's not really healthy. But in your situation, in your case, I'm seeing it as like it's meant to go this way. Or I feel like this trip in particular, because this could be a fairly new relationship, obviously, with the Page of Pentacles. This is a fairly new relationship. But I feel like this trial or this travel trip, it's going to take your relationship to brand new highs. I feel like you're really nervous about it, though. You're afraid it's not going to go well. I don't think you're prepared for all these different places that this person is going to take you. But it ends up working out great. Clarify this for Cancer. Clarify this message for Cancer. So that is why you're doing all this stuff. You're doing all this new stuff with them. So this is their morning routine. This is what they do. Now, granted, they could be traveling to see you. But I feel like you're traveling to see someone and you're like trying out all their crazy shenanigans and going to all the places they like to go to. And you're just going along for the ride. <laughs> Clarifying the moon card is the page of pentacles. Yeah, this is a, this person's a mystery to you. So right after the moon card is the page of pentacles and clarifying it's the page of pentacles. So this person could be um, a little bit younger than you. Or this relationship could just be fairly new. Now, for some of you, like I said, you're going to meet that person out there. Now, you could be traveling before for a job or for school and you meet this person out there. Or you're just going on a travel and you just meet this person out there. But um, for others of you, you're planning to meet this person. So for others of you, this person is a surprise to you. And for others of you, this is just your first time, you know, seeing them in a long time or just your first time in general. Um, we have the Six of Pentacles clarifying the moon as well. So they're just as surprised as you. They're just as, um, you know, worried as you are. You're just as new to them as they are to you. Just so, just know that. And they're, they're feeling the same way about you with the Page of Pentacles starting small, but you both intend for things to last. Because the Page of Pentacles, even though it's a page, it's planning to stay around for a very long time. And I also feel like it took you to a very long time to actually meet to actually go on this trip or to actually meet because the page of pentacles is slow okay they take their time <laughs> and so i feel like you both with the page of pentacles showing up twice you both had the same idea you want to take things slow and build it so this could have been a long distance relationship and it's your first time meeting but i also feel as though you two intend to take things very slow but it ends up going a lot faster than you expected Clarifying the Page of Pentacles is the lovers. Gemini, the choice. Yeah, so you have the two cups and the lovers. You guys fall in love almost instantly. Long distance relationship turned like, yeah, Page of Cups. Pleasant surprise. This is so cute, Cancer. This is so cute. Clarifying the two of cups is the Ace of Pentacles. Oh, this is so nice. And we have the three of swords. So for some of you, I feel like you're leaving a connection for another. And that may hurt someone's feelings because clarifying the page of pentacles is the page of cups. So I feel like you may leave one person for another. Yeah, I feel like it's a choice between an earth sign and a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, um, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. It could be a Gemini or Pisces or Taurus involved as well for some. Yeah, I definitely see you meeting somebody new. Clarifying the Hierophant is a Three of Pentacles. It ends up working out for you very well. 
and the eight of wands so you get a message overall energy is the high priestess um pisces energy okay so let me whew, excuse me so i think after this um after this travel with this person you're gonna be very worried when you go home but you're gonna get news and confirmation that this person like they want to take the relationship to the next level because i feel like you're at home worried like oh i messed this up or i can't believe this or yeah i feel like you're sitting at home overthinking how they feel or how what they think of you but you end up getting that um they give they send you a call or text or whatever letting you know that they want to take the relationship to the next level and it ends up working out so clarifying the two of cups with is the three of swords that's throwing me off well i feel like um the only thing i'm getting from that is possibly for some of you you left um someone to be with this earth sign to go see this earth sign this taurus or a pisces a pisces could be finding out and they're heartbroken that's all i can really get also with the overall energy being the eight of swords you could be overthinking yourself into heartbreak to the three of swords yeah so I, i'm feeling as though you're traveling to meet someone or they're traveling to see you for the first time and it goes very well you two hit it off um they end up messaging you or calling you or or rape maybe rape then and there they tell you that they actually um they want to take the relationship to the next level or this company wants to hire you or this college wants to accept you yeah you're really nervous about that but it's actually very it's meant to be with the lovers and the two of cups it's meent to happen overall energy being the high priestess pisces um you get a, a a message before they even send it to you yeah five of cups five of pentacles six of swords i feel like you have some past hurt here so maybe an X comes back around the same time. Yeah, there's a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, that comes back around at the same time. Yeah, someone from your past, Six of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Someone from your past comes back around at the same time this new person comes into your life. And you're going to have to make a choice. I see you choosing the Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, because they give you, they give equally, equal give and take. It depends though, because with clarifying the, the moon card, it's the page of pentacles. And it's also the six of pentacles here though. So I see the, um, the earth sign is going to give to you equally. So you may end up hurting this, um, this page of cups. You, you may end up hurting this water sign. Maybe they took too long to get back to you. I see you going, moving forward with the earth sign, especially if they're Taurus with the higher fonts. It ends up working out very well. So you may have a choice between two colleges, two jobs, two, two lovers, and you go with the earth sign. All right, I'm going to give you your final message, and we're going to close this out. Very cute date, I might add. You could, for some of y'all... You traveling to two different places. That's why you're going through all these different climates. So you could have gone on two different dates. Final message for cancer. And it's just, that's just stressed you out. <laughs> Trying to decide which person to choose. I definitely feel like you're choosing between two people. I'm definitely feeling a love reading here, but apply it wherever it applies. We have cat, doll, creature's paw, and house. All right, I'm going to connect some of these to the reading. Some of these I'll be open to interpretation. Cat, the untamed, self-ownership, watching. With the Pisces, the moon cards. I feel like that water sign from the past, it tried, they try to act too mysterious or they want to be single. Really, they do want to be single, but they lying to you. Or oh, they try to put on that air like I'm not ready to settle down just yet. Like, all right, bye. <laughs> or this could be this person. They try to put on that air, but they end up messaging you and telling you they actually, they're going to tell you they want higher commitment with you. They want to work with you. Because, I mean, come on, clarifying the higher font. It's the three of pentacles and the eight of wands. They're going to tell you they want to work with you. They want a long-term commitment. They're going to tell you what you want to heal. 
but it's not like they just telling you what you want to hear they actually want this all right, doll, illusion, old wounds, childhood. And it's going right over the three of swords. So that's what I'm getting, like an ex. So either you or them had a bad experience with somebody else in the past. And maybe that's why you're so worried or overthinking or anxious. Because I feel like you dated someone in the past who was noncommittal. They made you feel so in love. They told you they loved you. The connection was just so real. And you both felt it. But they never committed. They left things open. Wow, this person is like, you feel a strong connection with them and it's a lot of fun and it's mysterious. It's making you anxious, but they actually want a high commitment with you. Um, creatures Paw, the other friendship forgiveness. So like I was saying, I think I said it earlier in the reading or a moment ago, this could be this person putting on this act or maybe I'm just saying for some of you, this water sign from the past could come back around and be more stable now. Because with uh, the other friendship forgiveness, you could be forgiving this person because they've changed. You're meeting them up. You're meeting up with them again. But with the page, I'm feeling it's a new person. So you could be forgiving the old person and moving on with your life. Because just because you forgive someone doesn't mean you have to take them back. You just you just forgive them and let it go. I'm not really getting that this person is coming back changed, but for some of you it could be, but I'm just feeling like it's two different people. There's a new person and there's an ex. Uh, we have house as the overall energy, stability, stagnation, family. All right, I'm gonna leave that open to interpretation. But if this reading resonated, don't forget to give me a like, comment, subscribe, or share. Whew. Excuse me. If you're interested in booking a personal reading with me, all of my information is in the description box below. If you would like to check out my sister's beautiful crystal jewelry, her Etsy is linked below in the description box as well. I'm always wearing it and it's always displayed here. I send you peace, blessings, and love. Namaste.